so today we start the class i'm sorry we have in, in introduction we got delayed slightly today <clears throat> i'm going to talk about a patient who developed multiple problems over a period of time and the name of the patient is seema seema kumari and her age she is a female and her age was 31 years when uh, we started her treatment she lives in bhajanpura new delhi and she is working in delhi police uh, as far as the case history goes <clears throat> seema reported that she was healthy completely fully healthy till 2019 her weight was at that time was 57 kg she had good physique and she was working in delhi police in february 2020 she suddenly developed blurriness in the vision her vision became blur she went to a renowned hospital in patwargan and she took this treatment for more than 6 months but there was no change in her vision and after around 6 months she developed swelling in hands and legs so she was worried she changed the hospital and went to another hospital and many tests were done and only one thing which came out was that esr was high it was 70 now in the class all i have already told you in detail what is esr can anybody tell me the full form of esr and what does it indicate anyone in the class erythrocyte degeneration rate yeah who wants to tell just raise the hand it indicates how much inflammation in the body red blood yeah. cell how much infection in the body okay <clears throat> so she uh, there was nothing else found in her blood tests or reports only uh, infection was found it was esr was high so it was presumed and since the swelling was in the hands and legs it was presumed that it is likely to be rheumatic arthritis and her treatment is started for rheumatic arthritis along with the treatment for blurriness in the eyes this treatment continued for 2 months and after that she developed breathlessness i hope all of you understand what is breathlessness difficulty in breathing unable to breathe so again she went to the hospital her x ray was done and there was nothing abnormal found in the x ray everything was fine she continued with the same treatment and on 17th of december 20 2020 she developed high grade fever that is 104 105 and this fever lasted for almost 5 days she went to the hospital and again to the same hospital where she was taking treatment and her tests were done and now it, it was found that she is suffering from mark madak ondo red down tuberculosis and typhoid she had a history of typhoid since 2014 she used to get recurrent typhoid fever that is what she informed us then <clears throat> and her liver functions were found to have deteriorated and she was seen with mild jaundice i hope the class knows what is jaundice who wants to answer jaundice yes sir yellow fever 
yeah it is a fever uh, not 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 liver not functioning properly yeah liver not functioning properly and in this your eyes become yellow urine becomes yellow body becomes yellow and this happens because of the rise in bilirubin level last time i explained everyone about what is bilirubin what is bilirubin what is total bilirubin what is direct bilirubin and what is indirect bilirubin is the class aware about this yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If anyone doesn't know, kindly ask or raise your hand so that I can explain it again. Okay. <clears throat> so she was found to to be suffering with jaundice, and her swelling in legs and hands had increased. The blurriness in the eyes had gone up. and breathlessness has increased so this was the condition as on 17th of december 2020 and she was continuously on treatment till now in december 2020 in december 2020 in the end of december she shifted to another hospital in preet vihar new delhi she was admitted all the tests were done including ct scan and biopsy of lungs she was diagnosed with tuberculosis in the lungs her liver was she was it was a medicine induced liver damage as per the report the treatment is started in that hospital and in march 2020 her jaundice level started rising and she was found to be having another ailment that is hepatitis b now do you, do you know what is hepatitis inflammation of liver correct there are different types of hepatitis this is basically infection of liver and hepatitis a to f so she was detected with it's a virus virus infection and it is believed that once any hepatitis comes into the body it is difficult to get rid of this and it never goes out of the body that is what the medical science has been telling us till now <clears throat> her condition was still deteriorating and then she was shifted because of the deterioration in condition she was shifted to rlm rml hospital in delhi the treatment was given to her for few days and then in march 21 she was referred to ilbs indian institute of biliary sciences so she was referred to that place and when she reached ilbs she was told that she has to be put on ventilator because of the complications in her body and the treatment will start thereafter she got totally this thing disturbed she was very disturbed she told the hospital staff that she can't get admitted right now and she has to go home and come back she went home and did not return to ilbs when she went home somebody told her to get in with gyropathy so she contacted her appointment was booked 
with me on telephone. She contacted me on phone. I got her all the reports till now. And then after examining the reports and listening to her entire history, medical history, I wrote a prescription for her because presently I only give telephonic or video. I take video, uh, this thing, video consultancy or telephonic consultancy. So <clears throat> I told her, okay, don't worry, you'll be all right. Just follow the prescription. So I gave, gave her the prescription <clears throat> and she started following it partly. After a week, I received a call from her that she is not improving and there is no change in her condition and it is further deteriorating. Now, since she was already in very difficult condition, I decided to meet the patient and I told her to come to my office. And next day she came to my office and when she came there, she could hardly, she could not recognize the face of a person. It, the vision was so blur that she could not see me sitting in front. She was very weak, unable to stand and walk. She was supported by two persons and brought into my office. I saw her reports. <clears throat> Her SGOT and SGPT. I hope the class remembers SGOT. What is SGOT? Serum glutamine. ASC. Huh, uh, what does the SGOT, what does the SGOT <laughs> indicate? Health of heart, liver, muscles. Down, tissue, heart. Muscular yeah. problem. Enjoyment. Muscular injury also. Yes, so as yes. SGOT is indicates the health of all these organs, muscular organs basically. Yes, and sir. if SGOT is high, then it means either your liver or your heart or muscles, they are some or your lungs, they are under trouble. That is what the indication is. And her SGPT was found to be 260. So I had, I had told the class last time that if SGPT is also high and along with SGOT, what does this mean? Liver is in trouble. Yeah. So it indicates that the combination of this report indicates that the liver is in maximum trouble. Mm -hmm. So she had high SGOT and SGPT and her bilirubin, total bilirubin was 18.35. 18. Now, what is 18.35? What does this mean to the class? Is it high or it is low? Very high jaundice. Very high, high. high. Hi, hi, hi. Very high, sir. Very high. Can anybody tell me what should be the label, normal label of uh, bilirubin total? Below one. Below one. Below, Below one. Yeah. It is, <clears throat> as it happens in the forge, where the subedar sahab sawal puste hai, थ्री मेन ट्रेंच में थ्री मेन ट्रेंच में कितने आदमी होते हैं हाउ मेनी पीपल आर देयर इन थ्री मेन ट्रेंच वो कहता है कि वो कहता है दो वो कहते हैं ठीक है तकरीबन ठीक हाँ तकरीबन दुरुस्त है and mm. if you say three durust so this one is takriban durust takriban durust takriban 
So the thing is, it is from supposed to be in between 0 0.3 to 1.2. And her total bill ribbon was 18.35, which was which is considered very high. Very high, very high. And I will show you her photograph with this bill ribbon label. Recently, mm. has been given her photograph to be shown in the class. So after I finish this, I'll request him to show you her photograph. Yes. Now, <clears throat> hepatitis B was positive. We have the report of this hepatitis B positive. Then we have CT scan report where the report said, uh, we will show you the report, but what the report said, I must tell you and explain you what it means. The report said necrotic mediastinal and healer lymphadenopathy with fibroatlactic nodular lesions in the upper lobe lungs. Now, there are difficult medical words in this. I know it will not be possible for the class to understand. Yes, sir. So I'll break down these words and I'll explain you what these words mean. So first is necrotic. Necrotic means so dead, dead. dead part. Debris, dead debris. Dead debris is there. But those cells are not active. They are not alive. There are dead cells which are forming this part, which are there, which have been observed. This means necrotic, wherever the word comes, it indicates dead cells. Then media is tenal. What is this? Mediastinum jo hota hai sir uske paas mediastinum. Kahan par hota hai? Breast bone. Yes. Ye jo center of the chest hai. Center of the chest is mediastinal. Iske paas kaun kaun se organs hote hain? Thyroid. Thymus. Parathyroid and thymus, right. Right. Lungs, heart. Lungs, heart. And what else? Lungs, heart. I'm still waiting for some more organs to be brought in into this place. Kidneys? Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to ask you to remove that organ from there. <laughs> Donate. <laughs> See, in this media stenal, there are organs like heart, lungs, then heart of liver. Heart of liver. Liver is a little low, not interesting. The then major blood vessels which are entering into the heart. Then heart. esophagus and trachea. So you are missing on esophagus and trachea and major heart vessels, blood vessels. Yes, sir. Which were entering into the heart. So these are the organs which are there from this place down till this place. And thymus also in between. So this is this area. Reason is called media stenal. And anything if there is some problem in this region, then you can understand that all these organs which are in this line are going to get affected or some of the organs in this line will get affected for functioning. So media stenal is clear to the class? Yes, sir. Okay. Now the next word which has come is healer, healer region. 
any idea what is healer region mm -hmm. okay it refers to the specific part in the lungs which has become dysfunctional this means your lungs in that region has collapsed or it is partially functional such mm. part within the lungs is called healer right and such area is called healer region because it is not likely to heal okay so these are the two three i have explained you three difficult words which came into the report so have you understood what is happening now the next word is lymphadenopathy any guess what is lymphadenopathy i told you when i was teaching the system enlargement of lymph yeah correct very correct thank you nikita it is enlargement of lymph nodes normally the lymph nodes are very small in size they are like bean shaped similar looking to kidney and what is the function of lymph nodes just like kidney purification yeah purification of lymphatic fluid and a storage of immune cells so there are two functions of lymph nodes so if there is enlargement in the lymph node what do you understand by the enlargement of the lymph nodes some infections going on lymph node yeah ज्यादा है इम्यून सेल्स ज्यादा है सी इट इज अ नेचुरल मैकेनिज्म लिम्फ सेल्स आर स्टोर्ड देयर इम्यून सेल्स आर स्टोर्ड इन द लिम्फ नोड्स दैट मींस व्हेन एवर देयर इज इन्फेक्शन इन दैट विसिनिटी दीज सेल्स विल बिकम एक्टिव एंड वंस दीज सेल्स इम्यून सेल्स बिकम एक्टिव दिस मींस दे आर फाइटिंग इन्फेक्शन so the enlargement of the lymph node indicates that your body's immune system is trying to fight back infection but what i have seen in most of the case it could be because of cancer also it could be because of any other situation in the body inflammation also but unfortunately what i have been observing the although everybody in the medical field knows that lymph nodes are part of the uh, immune system and indicate that your immune system is trying to fight back the infection but along with the organ when the surgery is done even lymph nodes are removed and large lymph nodes are considered to be cancerous so once these lymph nodes are removed your fighting mechanism in the body is lost or gets reduced mm -hmm. and once the fighting mechanism of the body is reduced or it is removed then suddenly your body can't fight the cancer so instead of supporting the immunity system strengthening it the immunity system is damaged Mm, damage or gets damage so i have not been able to i i tried to understand the logic behind but i could never get that logic i always when somebody says ki i have got cancer in the lymph node i said don't worry it will heal itself because that organ is meant for healing it is meant for uh, immune cells to stay and fight there anyways <clears throat> so i think 
there are four words which are now clear to the class one is necrotic the second is media stenal third is healer and fourth is lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy all these issues are clear now when if you see anywhere in the report these words written will you be able to make out something Say yes, your thumb. Huh? Yes. Only few people are raising their hand. What about others? Yes, sir. Everyone must uh -huh. understand this because these words are very simple. They have been explained in detail. Okay. We are listening carefully. Then fiber. <laughs> Maybe you have to understand also. Not only listen, excel. <laughs> <laughs> Then the next word is fibroatletic. Now fibro and this atletic, these are two different words. But they have been combined in this report. Fibro means there are more fibrous cell or more fibrous tissues found in that region. Fibrous means like a fiber, like a thread. Mesh. The cells have become like a thread. They have become more fibrous in nature. And atelectic means a portion of the lung which has completely collapsed. Which has become completely this thing. Collapsed. So it has collapsed because of the cells becoming fibrous in that region. So these two words combined means fibrous cells have damaged that part of the lung. And the lung is dysfunctional. Now can anybody explain me the full CT scan report Necrotic media stenal and healer lymphadenopathy. There are in the medial media stenal region, yani this center part, Ji. there are lymph nodes which have been found with dead cells. This means the battlefield, lot of enemies. Our friends or our own force have died in that region. That is the indication. And in the healer region, there are parts, parts of the lungs where there are nodules. In that region also, there is necrotic cells seen in the nodules. A fibroelectric and nodular lesions in the upper upper lobe of the lungs. Lungs ke upper lobe mein, upper part of the lungs mein, this activity has been observed. So this is the meaning of the report. So when this patient came to me, she was in very bad condition. And after my first prescription, she started taking supplements and when she told me after seven days that there is no improvement, I called her to my office and when she came to the office, I learned that she is not taking uh, proper supplements which were written in my prescription. She was taking part of supplements because the person didn't tell her that rest of the supplements have to be bought from gyro office. Okay. So she was not aware. She was only taking supplements which were from the Nutrilite. And rest of the supplements she was not taking. And I was so shocked and surprised. Then I told her to kindly follow the complete prescription if you want to survive. Okay. She understood that and she purchased the items 
and she started following and from that day onwards she started showing improvement within a month her jaundice started reducing sgot sgpt started improving then within 3 months the nodules in the lungs had vanished all these reports we have to show it to you in 4 months time her hepatitis b had finished wow. which normally doesn't finish anywhere in the world mm-hmm. and this is this was not my first case of hepatitis b i have handled many so i was very confident ki even her hepatitis b will go off then swelling in the hands and legs started reducing after 6 to 7 months okay and then he, she had a hearing loss also and hearing loss and heaviness in the brain bichara this started reducing this reduced in 9 months means this was gone and the last thing was it took 11 months that her vision became all right oh nice so she took supplements almost for one year okay but then she was back in life no she was not she was but she is back in life we should clap for her yes sir and us with some laro patti also yes sir yes. Oh, amazing thank you, thank you. <clears throat> miracle miracle Mira. Absolutely. Now I'll ask Pritam ji to show you her video when she came for treatment with me. Her photograph, her video. you can enlarge and see her photograph on your screens you will find that her eyes are totally yeah, yellow yeah it is totally yellow eyes are totally yellow skin is completely yellow right yes, yellow ha uh-huh. bichara why she had suffered so much oh <laughs> भगवान एक को क्यों इतना देता है जब भगवान देता है तो भी दिक्कत है भगवान नहीं देता है तो भी दिक्कत है अच्छी लग रही है बहुत अच्छी लग रही है एंड शी हैज ज्वाइंड हर जॉब आफ्टर एट मंथ Uh, after eight months of treatment in Jairopet. Okay. Now, Pritam ji, kindly open the reports. Yeah. Can you? Ah. Uh-huh. This shows yeah. hepatitis B positive. If you are able to read it. Ah. Uh-huh. The next report. Yeah. Just enlarge it. Yes. This shows her SGOT and SGPT levels. If you see, jaundice, bilirubin total was five point six at this time. Yes. It was, but SGOT and SGPT were two thousand four hundred and fifteen and two thousand two hundred and sixty-six. So you can imagine what was the condition of the liver. Which is supposed to be below thirty-five. Aye, aye. Oh, what? Okay. Next, next report. Now, 
Now, this is the second Bilderbin report where Bilderbin was rising. I'm on eight going, point. going up. Next report. Yeah, this is that city scan report, which oh, yes. I I told you suggestive of necrotic media external and lymphadenopathy with fibroeclectic and cellular presence. This is that report which indicated tuberculosis in the lungs, which she was being treated. And I just want to tell you that when she was being treated for tuberculosis, her condition used to deteriorate faster. Twice the attempts were made by the hospitals to treat her for tuberculosis and both, both the times she became more serious than what she was earlier. So finally, when she came to me, there was only one medicine which I told her to continue. That was of hepatitis B. And I had stopped all her medications except told her to continue with supplements. Now, next report, Pritamji. Yeah, this was the discharge summary of one of the hospitals where it's written same uh, report. Media external lymph, lymph nodes due to tuberculosis, and even but biopsy was done, so they proved it by doing biopsy. But no, no, no tuberculosis treatment was suiting her body. Then hepato safe regime, what's a drug induced hepatitis? Dengue was high and. M. Bilopia, that is actually uh, decreased vision. De decreased vision. Mm -hmm. So, these were the problems with which she was suffering. Next. Yeah, this is again one of the hospital's uh, outpatient card which was, which has come. Next. Yeah, this again a discharge summary. Yeah, this is again a discharge summary, which indicates all the problems she has been suffering with. Next, this was the condition of liver when she came to me. Her SPOT, SGPT were in 200, 300 range, but has. Uh, can you enlarge this, Pritam Ji? Is it possible? Yeah, just this circle. Yeah. And sir, Bilirubin is 18 point something. Uh, 18 point something was the Bilirubin and she was in very bad condition because nothing was, no bile was coming out from the liver. Her digestive system had gone bad. She had severe constipation, gastritis, indigestion, all these issues because nothing was getting digested in her body. And she was growing very weak. Acutely weak. Next. <clears throat> yeah, this was the report after she had recovered. Her liver had recovered completely. So you can see. Her 0 0.61. Yeah, 0 0.61. Her liver had recovered. Her things had come within the range almost except for little bit of SGOT, which was which must be coming in the range. SGPT was already in the range. All other factors, including bilirubin, had come to the normal range. Next. So this was... Bilirubin, this was, bilirubin was, to say, it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Then this hepatitis B became non-reactive. You can see the report. And she lost her CT scan report. She received it on the phone 
which she could not send it to me. So she lost that report and she apologized for that. But even her nodules in the lungs had finished completely. Next. I think this is the last report. Okay. So this is what I wanted to show it to you. <clears throat> and I hope this gives you confidence and understanding that this type of cases can be solved in the system. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Great, 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 sir. Now, what were the supplements which were advised in the first design? There were eight prescriptions which were written during the course of one year for her. And so I'll not be able to tell you all the eight. I have got a list of these uh, prescriptions, but that will take very long time. But I'll tell you the initial uh, prescription what with what we started off. So the first, this thing was supplements which were recommended were albinate, two tablets three times a day, gyrobium, two tablets three times a day, relief, one tablet twice a day, morning and evening, fiber, five grams morning, five grams evening. Now these, all these things, the patient was told to take it with fiber water. Mm. One glass of lukewarm water mixed with five gram fiber. And with the fiber water only take other three tablets. And in the afternoon, take it without fiber with normal warm water. And this was 30 minutes before the meals. All, all, of, all the three, sir, albinate. Oh, everything yeah. from albinate to fiber was 30 minutes before meals. Then the next supplements were Jedambit, one tablet three times a day, JC Premium, two tablets three times a day, Jai Omega, one tablet twice a day, morning and evening, Preventica, two tablets twice a day. Jedcal D, two tablets twice a day. Jedferum, two tablets in the afternoon. Because whenever you are giving calcium and iron, you should maintain minimum two hours of gap. Not that it does any reaction. The only thing is when they are given together, Chile. they reduce their own performance. Mm. So for this reason, to get optimum benefit out of these tablets, you should maintain two hours of gap between calcium and iron. Then JY CoQ10 was two tablets twice a day, morning and evening. JY D3 K27 was one one morning and evening. Hematox, a blood purifier, one one morning and evening. Garlic, two, two tablets, morning and evening. So all this was to be given along with meals, just before or in between or just after meal. And mind you, these are not medicines. They are only supplements or gyro naturals made of plant extract. Then she was given 10 grams of protein in the morning, 10 grams of protein in the evening, and one gram of SKS twice a day with warm milk. And this she could have taken any time as convenient, but she had to take it twice a day. Then acidas was given two tablets in the morning, two in the evening, after meals. And Jai enzyme was given two tablets in the morning and two tablets in the evening, 30 minutes after meals. So these were the supplements which 
we continued for almost two months and thereafter the revision was taking place as per the improvement in her condition. Let me see if I can. Do you want to meet this patient? Sorry? Do you want to meet this patient? Yes, yes. Why not? Yes. Any? See him, sir. See her. Let me see if. <clears throat> I told her to come. Let me see. She's there, sir. She's there in the class. Okay. So, may I now request? Seema Kumari to introduce herself to the class. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Seema. Good evening. Good evening, class everyone. Hello. Hi, hi, Seema. How are you? Fine, fine, fine. Good and to you? see you. Yes, we all are fine. Oh. आपको सर ने बता ही दिया होगा मेरे बारे में सब हाँ वही सुन रहे थे भगवान ने क्यों इतना बीमार दिया आपको भगवान ने मुझे छप्पर फाड़ के दिया जो कुछ दिया लेकिन वही तो तो नाउ हाउ यू आर फील गुड 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 अभी मैं अच्छा फील कर रही हूँ देख के लग रहा है हाँ खाना अच्छा खाना खाना अच्छा खाते हैं जब से सर के कांटेक्ट में तो अच्छा ही खाते हैं हाँ एंड नो जंक फूड दिल्ली में बहुत लोग जंक फूड खाते हैं यस 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 एनीवन वांट्स टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सीमा यू कैन आस्क तो डॉक्टर साहब के बारे में आपको कहाँ से पता चला सर मुझे ना हेलो हाँ जी सर नमस्ते नमस्ते बेटा हाँ सर ये ना आपकी हिम्मत आपकी हिम्मत और जज्बे की हम सब तारीफ करते हैं वेरी गुड आप आप बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग हो तभी आप इतना बीमारी के बाद भी रिकवर कर पाए वो तो जी सर जी जी तो आपको आपको जेरोपैथी और डॉक्टर साहब का कैसे पता चला सर एक्चुअली मैं ना जैसे मुझे पहले से हमारे घर पे कोई आते थे वो पहले से बताया करते थे कोई भैया थे कि जेरोपैथी से ट्रीटमेंट होगा पहले से डिस्कस किया करते थे की एक सर है वो ट्रीटमेंट करते हैं सप्लीमेंट से ट्रीटमेंट करते हैं पर मैं बिलीव नहीं किया करती थी पहले से किया करते थे हम्म तो फिर मैंने जब मेरे साथ ये सारा घटना घटी उसके बाद मैंने क्या करा नेट पे सर्च किया सर का गूगल पे यूट्यूब पे वीडियोस वगैरह देखी तब जाके जब कुछ रहा ही नहीं मेरे पास कोई इलाज ही नहीं था हॉस्पिटल के पास तब तो मुझे लगा की लास्ट ये ऑप्शन है मेरे पास इसके अलावा मेरे पास है ही नहीं कुछ तब मैं सर के पास गई थी लास्ट टाइम तो मैं सर के वहां से ठीक ही हो गया यही होता है अक्सर यही होता है क्योंकि जिनको नहीं पता जो इससे पहले से नहीं जुड़े वो यही सोचते हैं कि यार क्या है ये कौन से फूड सप्लीमेंट हाँ, 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 भी है यस यस ऐसे ही सोचते हैं बट वही है इंसान को तकलीफ बिल्कुल अनबेरेबल लेवल पे पहुंच जाती है फिर थके हार के दिखा देता है ना या ये कह सकते हैं कि भगवान ने एक राह दिखाई बिल्कुल ये वो तो है हाँ। ये चमत्कार हुआ है मेरे साथ सच में मेरिकल सारे हाँ सीरियसली सर मेरे साथ चमत्कार हुआ है सारे डॉक्टर्स भी हैप हो गए थे कि हेपेटाइटिस बी नेगेटिव नहीं होता है पूरी लाइफ टाइम हम उसको खाते रहते हैं जो टेबलेट होती है और लीवर की इतनी बुरी हालत थी मेरी जोडिस ये समझ लो की मैं खत्म हो गई थी सर मैं कुछ भी नहीं खा सकती थी हाथ पैर मेरे ऐसे हो गए थे हाथ पैर सर ऐसे जैसे होता है ना कि पत्थर इतनी स्वेलिंग ना झुका जाता ना कुछ चम्मच से पानी नहीं, दिया जाता था मुझे बहुत बुरी हालत थी और सर सारे डॉक्टर हार मान गए थे जब लीवर ही डैमेज है तो लंग्स का कैसे ट्रीटमेंट करें तो कुछ भी समझ में नहीं आता डॉक्टर को लीवर बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट होता है हमारी बॉडी का और वही सब चीज अब उन सब डॉक्टर्स को बोलना है उन डॉक्टर्स को जाके मिलो और उनको बोलो कि हमारे डॉक्टर साहब से मिलने और उनसे ट्रेनिंग ले ले उनको बताइए जाके कि मैं ठीक हो गई बोल के नहीं सर वो मुझे के सारे बोलते हैं कि कि आप बिल्कुल कैसे बच गए कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है तो उनको भी थोड़ी हैरानी होती है 
तो आपने उन्हें जायरो के मैं बहुत लक्की हूँ बताया मैंने बताया कि सप्लीमेंट से ट्रीटमेंट हुआ है मेरा ये कह रहे थे हमें भी मिलवाना ऐसे बोला दो दो मिला दो। हाँ, मिलवाएंगे सर को सारे डॉक्टर तुम्हारी ये सोच बहुत अच्छी लगी कि तुम ये सोचते हो कि मैं बहुत लकी हूँ बहुत लकी हूँ सर और आप सर भी बहुत लकी हो जो आप सर के साथ जुड़े हुए हो और ध्यान से सारी बातें हाँ क्योंकि एक टाइम तो ये लगता है कि हम खत्म हो गए हमें कोई नहीं है बचाने वाला डॉक्टर के सामने भी हाथ जोड़ोगे ना तब भी तुम्हें वो बस हाँ हाँ करके चले जाएंगे पर वो ठीक नहीं करेंगे तुम्हें हाँ सच्ची वो बस अपनी गर्दन को ऐसे कि हाँ पेशेंट बता रहे है ऐसी बोल रहे है कि पता नहीं क्या क्या कहना चाहता है ये समझाने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ लेकिन समझ नहीं आ रहा है बस दो चार गोलियां और एड कर करते चले जाते हो कोई मतलब नहीं है एक्स्ट्रा एक्स्ट्रा हाँ बहुत बुरी कंडीशन हो गई थी हम तो सर के साथ है हमें कोई चिंता ही नहीं है हाँ। सर के साथ जुड़े हुए हॉस्पिटल गए हो एक नई बीमारी उन्होंने ऐड कर दी है आपके समरी में <laughs> एक नई बीमारी और ऐड हुई है हाँ। हाँ। वो का साइड इफेक्ट भी कितना हुआ होगा हेपेटाइटिस बी नहीं था मुझे बार बार हॉस्पिटलाइज होने की वजह से एक बीमारी और हो गई मुझे हेपेटाइटिस बी कितना बुरा फील होता है कम एज में अनमेरिड में और हेपेटाइटिस भी लोग सुन के भी सोचते हैं कि इसके पास नहीं जाना है कितना बुरा फील होता होगा मुझे और फील तो होता ही था पर दिखाई भी तो नहीं देते थे मुझे कोई सबसे बड़ी बात ये दिखाई नहीं देता <laughs> बाबा ने बाबा ने एकदम बस मुझे हाँ फील बस फील हुआ है कि हाँ ये सब मुझसे दूर भाग रहे हैं बड़ा अजीब सा हुआ सब कुछ एक तो बॉडी साथ अब सब पास में आ जाएंगे हाँ सब पास आते हैं अब तो मुझे पहले से बहुत अच्छा मतलब कहते हैं बहुत इम्प्रूव हो गया ये सब अच्छा अच्छा सा लगता है सबको और बड़ा हैरान होते हैं मुझे देखे सब आई होप आप सब भी हो गए होंगे <laughs> इतनी सारी बातें हाँ, 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 नहीं, नहीं अच्छे लग रहे हैं बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है थैंक यू सो मच हेलो हाँ जी मैडम आपको सप्लीमेंट लेते हुए कोई डिफिकल्टी ऐसे लगा और लेने में कोई डिफिकल्टी डिफिकल्टी शुरू से मैंने बहुत कम सप्लीमेंट लिए थे सर ने बताया होगा बहुत दिक्कत मैंने फॉलो ही नहीं किया था फॉलो किया तब आपको कुछ ऐसे नहीं हुआ डिफिकल्टी वगैरह डिफिकल्टी शुरू में ये हुआ कि चौदह एक एक टाइम में बस चौदह मुझे वो सप्लीमेंट नहीं लगते थे शुरू में तो मुझे गोली लगती थी वो गोली है मैं कैसे खाऊंगी गोली है ये बड़ा अजीब अजीब सा रुक रुक के खाती थी मैं एक एक मिनट गैप ले लेके फिर उसके बाद धीरे धीरे अपने आप ही है फिर दो दो कि अब मैं दो खा सकती हूँ बस धीरे धीरे आदत पड़ती चली गई और आज मतलब लास्ट सेवन जब सेवन मंथ हो गए बहुत आदत पड़ गई मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगने लगा खाना आज लेती मैं एक दो सप्लीमेंट सर के बताए प्रिवेंटी का ये तो मैं आज भी कंटिन्यू रखती हूँ इसको तो हाँ अच्छी बात है हाँ आज भी प्रोटीन ओमेगा ये सब सर का बताया हुआ आज भी फॉलो करती हूँ मैं क्योंकि मुझे डॉक्टर से बिलीव नहीं है डॉक्टर कामानी मेरे पे पूरा बिलीव ऐसा लगता है जब भी कोई प्रॉब्लम आती है कि हाँ मैं सारी प्रॉब्लम का सोल्यूशन है जैसे भगवान हाँ। को बताते हैं ना मैं तो सर को जल्दी कैसे बता देती हूँ अपनी प्रॉब्लम सच में सबसे बड़ी एक है विश्वास ना विश्वास रिलीजियस खाना विश्वास करना सबसे अच्छी बात सर की ये थी कि मैंने रात रात भर जग के सर को फोन भी किया ना अगर मैंने रात के बारह बजे भी फोन किया तो सर ने मेरा फोन पिक किया मतलब किसी का कॉन्फिडेंस वो नीचे हो जाता ना इतनी बीमारियों के साथ हाँ। सर ने कभी मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस मुझे मोटिवेट ही किया सर ने ऑलवेज तो वरना कौन हाँ। डॉक्टर उठा था अपने टाइम गया तो कोई नहीं कोई नहीं उठाएगा बार बार बेटा आप ठीक हो जाओगे तब बार बार लगता था हाँ मैं ठीक हो जाऊंगी ऐसा लगता था जैसे भगवान से बात कर रहे हैं सर भगवान का ही होगा मैडम आपके लिए तो आप सभी के लिए <laughs> मेरे लिए तो सर भगवान ही है सर मेरे फोन में सर का नंबर भी जेरोपैथी गोड करके सेव है सही बात है इसके बाद भी मैंने कुछ लोगों को जिनको बताया है ना सर के बारे में ट्रीटमेंट ले रहे हैं आज वो जो बेड पे थे ना वो ठीक होते जा रहे हैं सब सब थैंक यू बोलते हैं सर को दूसरों की दूसरों को हेल्प करो ना आप भगवान आपको हेल्प अपने आप ठीक करता है देख लो सर आप सबके सामने हो किसी का और क्वेश्चन हो तो पूछ सकते हो 
बस यही बताना है कि जो लोगों को ज्यादा ज्यादा जागरूक करो अधिक से अधिक लोगों हाँ। को बताओ एलोपैथी के बारे में लोगों का बताना दिल्ली में बहुत सारे लोगों को जरूरत है जी एक्चुअली बहुत जरूरत है सीमा अभी भी आप लोगों को एक बात नहीं बता रही जी कि जब ये मेरे ऑफिस आई और मुझे पता चला कि इसने हाँ। पूरे सप्लीमेंट नहीं लिए हाँ अच्छा, हाँ। है ना तो मैंने इसे रिफ्यूज कर दिया था कि मेरा ऑफिस छोड़ दो जाओ यहाँ से क्योंकि तुम हाँ। सिर्फ मरने के लिए हो तुम जी नहीं सकती हो मुझे लगा की बचाना मुश्किल है इसको और उसके ऊपर से इसने मतलब प्रॉपर सप्लीमेंट नहीं लिए रिकमेंडेशन और मुझे आके बता दे मतलब पहले तो इसने मुझे ये बता दिया फोन पे कि कि मैं ले रही हूँ कि मैं सप्लीमेंट्स ले रही हूँ फिर भी मेरी कंडीशन खराब हो रही है और जब ऑफिस में आई तो मुझे पता चला कि ये सप्लीमेंट प्रॉपर नहीं ले रही थी और मेरे ऊपर ब्लेम लगा रही थी झूठा इल्जाम झूठा डॉक्टर सर इनके खिलाफ दिल्ली पुलिस में एफ करवा दो तुरंत एक्शन होगा सर मेरे खिलाफ एफ आई तो उसके बाद उसको केस को हैंडल मैं ही कर लूंगी मान हानि का मुकदमा किया जाए नहीं तो दैट वाज द स्टेट मतलब फिर मैंने इसको डांटा लेकिन फिर मुझे दया आ गई और मैंने बोला अच्छा चलो अभी से शुरू करो भगवान बचाएगा तुम्हें एंड देन शी फॉलोड इट अप और सर आपने एक साल जिंदगी दी है आपने जिंदगी दी है एक साल के इलाज की जो जर्नी थी वो एकदम ऐसे स्मूथ नहीं थी कि ये ठीक होती चली गई लगातार ऑब्वियसली द सिचुएशंस सिचुएशंस वर वेरिंग वो अप एंड डाउन कंडीशन हो रही थी होगा होगा एंड आई केप्ट ऑन टेलिंग हर डोंट वरी हैव पेशेंस यस ठीक है विश्वास रखना बहुत जरूरी है और ये हाँ. एक जर्नी थी मतलब ये हीलिंग का एक प्रोसेस था एक साल का इसलिए अप डाउन हो रहा होगा इरिटेट भी होती है ना कभी कभी एक सप्लीमेंट का एक ऑर्गन पे एक तरह से असर होगा तो एक पे उसका ऊपर भी होगा क्योंकि अगर एक ऑर्गन ऑर्गन नॉर्मली चल रहा है जब आप बॉडी ऐसे प्रोटीन लिया हमने किसी एक ऑर्गन के लिए और प्रोटीन तो हर ऑर्गन में जाएगा हाँ। तो जो ऑर्गन ऑलरेडी नॉर्मल है उसमें कुछ चेंज आएगा उसकी वजह से प्रोबेबली दिस इज माय थॉट अप डाउन होने का कारण यही हो सकता है कि जो यू uh, नो you know, जिसको उस सप्लीमेंट की जरूरत नहीं थी उतनी जबकि इतना हेवी डोज ऑफ दिया गया तो क्यों सर क्या एम आई राइट और सी द थिंग इज होमियोस्टाइसिस जब बनना शुरू होता है एक सिस्टम जो रुका हुआ है काम करना शुरू करेगा तो उसकी जो लिंक दूसरे सिस्टम के साथ होगी दैट विल गेट अपसेट मतलब फिर उसको भी चलना पड़ेगा ना साथ में एंड दैट इज वाई दिस थिंग्स वर हैपनिंग एंड वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वे हियर की इट्स नॉट ए स्ट्रेट पाथ ऑफ रिकवरी आपने क्या रिकमेंड किया जो इनका विजन जो हो रहा था ब्लड विजन जो हो रहा था इनका ये बेसिकली मुझे ऐसा लगा देर वॉज स्वेलिंग इन दिन साइड अच्छा आईज के अंदर जो वेसल्स है वो स्वेलअप थी इनफ्लेम थी और उसके कारण जो प्रॉपर इमेज फॉर्मेशन होना चाहिए था रेटिना में नहीं हो रहा था ओके okay. तो, तो जो ये तो पहले इन्होंने तो जो एलोपैथिक ट्रीटमेंट ली वो, वो लोग क्या ट्रीट कर रहे थे ब्लड विजन के लिए हाँ एक्चुअली <laughs> सर मैं बताऊंगी वो बस ये कह रहे थे की थोड़ा सा आप धूल मिट्टी से अब जाते हो स्कूटी वगैरह चलाते हो तो ऐसे हो सकता है दिल्ली का पोल्यूशन बोला दिल्ली का पोल्यूशन हाँ आपको हाँ, हाँ कि बस पोल्यूशन हो सकता है मैं मैंने मतलब लॉन्ग टाइम तक उनका जो भी 
उन्होंने मुझे बताया कि ये डालना है आंखों में मैं डाल के रही कंटिन्यू लेकिन मुझे कोई रिलीफ नहीं हुआ उसके लिए उसके लिए ना कोई टेस्ट हुआ और कहीं से पता टेस्ट भी हुआ सर टेस्ट हुआ लेकिन स्वेलिंग ना उसमें शो नहीं हो रही थी पर मैं बार बार कह रही कि ब्लरिंग विजन मेरे लेंस वगैरह तो सही आ रहे थे उसमें जो टेस्ट उनके जो मशीन थी वो वो ये बता रही थी कि इसके लेंस क्योंकि जो टेस्ट होते हैं वो स्वेलिंग को नहीं बताता अंदर जो होता है बट वो जो लेंस वगैरह वो ठीक कि ठीक है बस उनको समझ ही नहीं आ रहा था खेर ठीक है ये थोड़ा हो सकता है आप आंखों को छू रहे हो इस वजह से हो रहा है बट ब्लरिंग विजन ऐसा था किसी को नहीं देख सकती थी मैं और स्वेलिंग थी वो क्योंकि पूरी बॉडी में जब फिंगर्स में हाँ एक ब्रेन तक भी स्वेलिंग थी सब प्रीतम जी ने आपको एक पेज दिखाया था जो थोड़ा सा कलर्ड था ग्रीन कलर का रिपोर्ट्स में भास का वो वो ब्रेन ब्रेन का सर वो वो साइकेट्रिस्ट का पर, वो था प्रिस्क्रिप्शन रिपोर्टिंग न्यू एलिमेंट्स वन आफ्टर डॉक्टर्स डिसाइडेड कि ये इसके दिमाग की बीमारी है ये इसकी बीमारी नहीं है हाँ, सच में यही बोल दिया था लास्ट उन्होंने कहा बैठी गंगा में हम भी हाथ धो लेते हैं चलो प्रोसीजर जब पेशेंट का एलिमेंट नहीं ठीक हो रहा है और पेशेंट कहता जा रहा है बार बार नई प्रॉब्लम्स बता रहा है तो ऐसा फील होता है कि ये पेशेंट ही पागल है सही में पेशेंट ही पागल है बिल्कुल नहीं नहीं क्योंकि डॉक्टर कुछ नहीं कर पाते ना इसलिए इल्जाम देते हैं पेशेंट ऐसा नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है मतलब कुछ सप्लीमेंट नहीं दिया उनको आइस के लिए कुछ नहीं यही प्रिस्क्रिप्शन के लिए कुछ नहीं दिया मतलब आइस के लिए जो जेड सी ओमेगा ओमेगा था ओमेगा थी ठीक है ये सब आंख पे काम करने वाले थे जो इन्फ्लेमेशन गार्लिक था वो इन्फ्लेमेशन कम करने वाला था मुझे ये पता था कि आंख में स्वेलिंग है इंटरनली शी हैज गॉट स्वेलिंग इन द आईज और इसीलिए जब सब कुछ बॉडी का ठीक हुआ तो आंख का विजन भी वापस आ गया एक्चुअली क्या होता है बहुत सारे एसोसिएटेड ऑर्गन होते हैं वो इसलिए भी जो एलिमेंट्स होते हैं उनको यू हैव टू यू शुड बी डीलिंग इन सीक्वेंस मतलब आप एकदम डायरेक्टली हर और उसके लिए नहीं देना चाहिए दवाएं और सप्लीमेंट्स यदि आपको समझ में आ गया है कि ये इस इस कारण से है तो वेट फॉर द रिस्पॉन्स ठीक है अब ये इन्फ्लेमेशन लगातार कम ही हो रहा था क्योंकि ये चीजें जो जा रही थी बॉडी में दे वर मेकिंग चेंजेस इनका तो ब्लरनेस था अदरवाइज ऐसे भी आंखें अगर वीक है तो ये ठीक हो जाएगा हमारे सप्लीमेंट से चश्मा उतर जाएगा हाँ तो प्लीज आपका भी चश्मा निकालिए अभी क्लास बंद करें क्योंकि बहुत टाइम हो रहा है जी सर आधे से ज्यादा लोग चले गए हैं अब वो थैंक यू सुन के चले गए कैसे मिस्टर जैसन तो पहले लेफ्ट बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग इन हिंदी ओनली नहीं नहीं मिस्टर जैसन इज स्टिल देयर डोंट से ए नहीं ही वाज नॉट देयर बिफोर अच्छा सर सर अच्छा हां हां ठीक है सर आई थिंक ओके मैडम थैंक यू चलो अच्छा थैंक यू सीमा थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग योर वेलकम वेलकम बाय थैंक यू सीमा ऑल द बेस्ट बाय मिस्टर जैसन शी डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हर चलो I think we'll close the class today. Thank you very much. Ah, yes, Mr. Yes, Jaisen. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night, Sri.